Hello, my English 111 students online, Shaw University Fall 2019. So this is the week of August 26th through September 1st. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do a couple of things. We get to introduce our first assignment, woohoo! First writing assignment, which is how to write a professional email. We'll get to that. Our grammar. So basically, yeah, basically every single week moving forward, we're going to have some basic grammar um, instruction and those are all found in Odigia so for this week it's like basic sentence structure so what you're going to do is and again it's not quite updated because we haven't quite got to the uh, new school year yet but when you go to digital textbooks there will be one of the one of the ones you'll see it'll be like let's see it's not even showing up here um, it's, it's going to be called let's see if I can see no that's that's not it either anyway it's going to be basically called the um, uh, grammar guide. Okay, so there'll be you'll, you'll have one that says English 111, one that will say grammar guide, and actually this is the, the English 110 is the old grammar guide. So in this case, you would look at it and you say, okay, what makes a good sentence? So then if you click here, then here are the writing basics of a good sentence, and this explains and there's practices and stuff in here. So this explains kind of the concepts, and then you can do some practices. Um, that's going to be it, this is what it will look like when you're all said and done. So then when you go back to this week, after you've done the reading, then um, there is a quiz right there. And we'll talk about the professional email here, and we'll do that in a second. So there's a quiz on doing um, on basic sentences, and you'll get that information by reading that information in Odigia. So yeah, there's that. Um, the other things we get to do is well, there is a pretest. Um, again, you get one chance at this. Um, do your best. Give it the best shot. Um, you will get full points for completing that. So just do your best. So whatever you earn on it, um, you'll get full points. So what ends up happening is that you, this here is the test, but down here will show me that you, this is where I put your grade into the system saying that you took it. So as long as you've taken the test, you get 100 on the assignment. Um, that's for the pretest. All right. Now let's spend the rest of the time here talking about the professional email assignment. It's pretty straightforward. So if we click on this... It downloads the document. Okay, for this one, basically, uh, students are going to learn how to write professional emails. Okay, so basically, it's important that when you're writing professional emails, um, that you do so in a certain way. And we're going to practice by doing a email to a professor. We're just going to make one up. Okay, so. Um, professional email should follow the business letter format, and there should be five components. The introduction, the context, the specific question or concern, conclusion, and the contact information. So this information right here is explaining, you know, what you need to do. Now, this just kind of explains what you're going to be doing, okay? These are the things you need to do. Well, what am I supposed to do with that, Professor Morgan? Okay. Well, the good news is that I have a professional email template, which we'll click and open up right here. This will help you. So if I were you, I would take this and I would open up that assignment. And what I would do is, here it is, ba -ba. Okay, dear professor, instructor, whatever, put their last name. Introduction, tell them who you are and which class you're in. Okay, the context of the question, clearly state, I am contacting you because I have a question about the quiz. Okay, the specific concern. On the quiz, the third question says, what is the color orange? I don't know how to answer that. Okay, conclusion, thank you for your time and help. So these are the things that you're going to be doing. And you can actually go ahead and just use this and just change this information to practice writing, um, you know, don't leave introduction and so whatever. And to help you even more, there is an example of a completed email. Okay, and this one actually has a mistake in it. Ha, see if you can fill it. So dear Dr. Kirkley, cool. Okay. Introduction. My name is Jason Morgan. I am in your English 110 in the class. I meet on Tuesday and Thursday. Ah, I know clearly who you are. We are currently working on writing professional emails for the class. Okay, so that's the context. We had a lecture on this subject in our last class. Okay, so now I know you're contacting me because you want to know more information about the professional emails. Okay, but now you're asking the specific questions. When reviewing the assignment, I am unclear if I can write the way I talk because you're pretty chill. You feel me? Yeah, no. This is not professional. This is not the way that you would write this. I am unclear on that if I can write the way that I talk. Can you feel me? Yeah, no. Okay, that would not be appropriate because that's not proper uh, professional English. Thank you for your time and attention to the question sincerely and then you put your information. So that's an example of a completed one. Okay, so again, if I were you, I would take this professional template. Like I said, it's right here. Go ahead and again, you're just making up a question, okay? Um, just whatever. It could be to whomever and just make up a question, uh, make up a specific concern. We're just practicing. 
once you're done, you're going to upload that to right here. Again, you need to upload it as a doc or a docx file. If you're using Microsoft Word, great. That'll automatically save it like that. If you're using other sources, like if you're using pages or other things, there is a resource up here. If we go up here to resources, if you click on resources right here, there's a whole bunch of videos in here that were very helpful. And so like if you're using uh, a Mac, this shows you how to save it as a doc or docx. If you're using Google Docs, this shows you how to save it as a doc or docx. If you're using OpenOffice, it's doc or docx. But again, you can get Microsoft Word for free. Um, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be using it, okay? And how you get it for free is, yeah, just do that right there. Just you know, simply do a Google search on how to get it Microsoft free for a student and you use your shot email and you can get it for free. Yeah, there's that. Okay, well, let's see what else. Where were we this week? Okay, and then to upload your assignment again, or just like before, you click here. Once you've written your professional email, now you can actually see, oh, this one actually has a rubric. So this shows you exactly how it's going to get graded. You know exactly how, you know, so when I get it, I basically look through your email and I just click, you, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. There's the rubric. That shows you how you're going to get graded. But to add your submission, you click here. And then just as before, you either click here to add a file or you can drag and drop it. So that is it for August 26th. So again, professional email assignment, quiz on basic sentences. You find that information in Odigia. And also then you take the pretest. Again, you don't have to put anything here. Do not put anything here because I will do this. I just have to have a placeholder to give you your grade. You just take this pretest. Okay. And then we go on to the next week. That's it.